There is only one way to present this. War is already with us. Do you mean that that Omoganigwe will really go into war with us? It is already planned out, so we must prepare for it. Failure to do that, they will come upon us like travail of a pregnant woman. And they may not be any way of escape. It will mean submitting to death. Then on your own part, is there anything you can do to avert this war that is about to come? Oh, it is already late. The war is already here. How do you mean? They have raised warriors. And the warriors are determined to come on us with the kind of travel we've never seen before. But you have not confirmed to us the people with whom we are going to war. It can never be the people of Umo Ganiwe. Because I know they will never go into war with us. Oh, Onyandozi. War is coming. And we must prepare for it. We may not know who we are fighting against because they are yet to attack us. But war is coming. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, great, noble, gallant youth of our land. I have a very simple task for all of you. We have an idea already, but it will be an honor to be briefed by the king. My son, will have shown you that land. From today onwards, you must protect that land with all your lives and prevent anybody from Asia my kingdom from having access to the land. That is a simple task to undertake, Your Majesty. From what I know, Onyezi, do not say anything, for you are not a man of war. You're not going to prevent me from speaking my mind. You have nothing to say rather than to discourage us. You're a man of negative thoughts, and we don't need you in this mission. Our youths, please, let him speak. All I'm saying is that the land in question belongs to the people of Eziama. Why do we want to take it from them? <laughs> I have been vindicated, Onyezi. I told you this man is a coward. That is why I never wanted him to speak. I am the king of Omoganigwe. And all lands belong to me. Including that which I seek. So that is our land. And that is it. I'm sending all of you out to go and safeguard that land. What happens if we get there and there are other people interested in the land? You have my express order to kill, maim, and destroy anyone or group of persons from having access to that land. That settles it, Your Majesty. We need weapons. My son, the prince, would provide all the weapons needed. Ebu of Eziama. This land we are talking about is our land. Bam. Yes. And that is why I am sending you out to go and defend it. On no account must you allow anybody who is not from Eziama to gain access into that land. What should we do if they come to us violently? If they come violently, then you have the permission of the king to ward them off violently. That means we need some level of fortification. Yes. Mm. Yes. As men who are already initiated into the masquerade court of Eziama, you are fortified already. You don't need any other fortification. I want you to go out there and defend that land. Our forefathers did not lose that land. And there is no way it is going to happen under our watch. Are we going to lose that land? No! no. Not at all! Finally, in any situation whatsoever, you discover that you cannot fight. Send word to me directly or to the palace, depending on the one which is quicker. 
Did I make myself clear? We are ready to defend our land. And if anybody tries to stop us, they will be crushed. Yes. They will be crushed! Sure! You may leave now. Mm -hmm. he will. Their morale is high. And I love the zeal. I love the zeal that I'm seeing. Exactly. Exactly. So how exactly do you want it? Once I am done discussing with her, I want you to kill her. But that would be a wrong idea. To you, it's a wrong idea. But to me, that is exactly what I want. Is there no other way? There is no other way. Okolondu. I want you to think twice before taking any action. Remember you told me how much you love this girl. How you can go to any length to marry her. Exactly my point. Or do you want to lose everything you have shared with her overnight? She did that. And that was exactly what prompted my decision. How do you mean? She told me that it's over between us. Why would she make sure? Because she wants to marry the prince. Then your anger should be on the prince, not the girl. Kill the prince and the girl will be yours. <laughs> I am not even interested in her anymore. So you want us to kill her? My point exactly. Then let's kill her. No problem, we'll kill her. Good. 
What are you doing in our land? We should be asking you that question. What are you doing here? This land is our land. Your ancestors, including your king, knows that. So I ask again, what are you doing here? You are making a big mistake. And I will ask you live here now in peace. Or I will ensure you live here in pieces. You can do nothing. This land is ours. Yes! No doubt that you want war. And war you shall get. Jan 
What is keeping her? We should be asking you that question. Are you sure she's aware that this is the place both of you are supposed to meet? Yes, this is our meeting point, and I made it categorically clear that I will be waiting for her here. Then we should wait a little more. No, I am tired of waiting. Is that the way of pulling out of the plan? No. Then no. what do you intend to do? I'm going to their hut. To do what? To drag her to this place. If you do that, you'll not only put yourself into trouble, but all of us. When you look at me, you would see a desperate man. And at this point, I don't care. That girl must die. Oh, you know, see? When do we start gathering the precious stones? And how are we going to get by us? One thing is that precious stones do not have special seasons at which they are gathered. Okay, so I have to understand that to mean that we can start gathering the precious stones at any time? Yes, Your Highness. You're right. Then in that, in that case, I have to brief the youth of our kingdom on, on that purpose. And that's exactly what is on my mind. Uh, with regard to getting buyers, remember I told you that those white men visiting communities, that uh, they are highly interested in precious stones. Yeah. So we have to mobilize the youth to gather the precious stones in large quantity. When they come, we sell to them. That's interesting. Hmm. What happened? We, yes. we met the youths of Mount Andigo Kingdom already in the land. What? How? What were they doing there? From what I understand from the leader, they came to protect the land. He openly told me the land belongs to them. That's nonsense. How can anybody be saying that? The land belongs to us, and they know it. Exactly. Uh, okay, then what happened next? They attacked us, and we resisted them in a fierce battle. Good. That is the kind of thing I want to be hearing. But we lost some men, and they did too. All right. You have done noble. Uh, I want all of you to follow me to the house of uh, Okadike, the healer for treatment immediately. Your Highness. God. Okay. What is going on? Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Somebody help. Okay. 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 Help. Somebody help. Okay. 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 How dare you two keep me waiting? Apologies, my friends. Apologies. How did it go? She's dead, my prince. <laughs> you, you have no idea how you made my day such a perfect one. Hey, I hope no one followed you or saw you when you carried out your duty. No one. No one at all. Good. Good. But my prince, we did not kill her. What do you mean you did not kill her? You just said mission accomplished. My prince, we followed her carefully to where she was going. But by the time we arrived, we realized that she was already dead. What? So who killed her? No idea, my prince. And you? No idea, my friends. No idea. But you are certain she's dead? Dead. Certain? Real. She's dead. dead. Well, that's fine. Once she's dead, she's dead. It doesn't matter who killed her. Leave and meet me at the palace later. Just leave. Thanks. Leave! Your Majesty. Majesty. What I have just explained now is the situation that is staring us in the face right now. Hmm. Your Majesty, are you sure that piece of land belongs to us? You see that portion of land, as soon as you descend the hill into our kingdom, that land is our land. I know it as the back of my palm. Your Majesty, the reason I ask this question is to make sure that we know what we are doing. Well, I am going to confirm to you as king now, sitting on the throne. That land is our land. Uh, uh, but your majesty, if the said land in contention is ours, why are they laying claims over it? They are laying claims over it because precious stones have been found on the land. In line with what I discussed with uh, Onyendozi, we are talking about very expensive precious stones. Something that is going to facilitate the development of our kingdom. That is the reason the king of Ubu has suddenly become interested in annexing that portion of land to become a part of Ubu Oganigwe. Your Majesty, he should not want the land for any reason at all. The land is ours, and we are not going to relinquish it to them. Never. Exactly. For the people of Umu Oganigwe to suddenly 
desire that land. Our ancestral land that belongs to us simply means that they are calling for war. Yes. I know. Yes, I know. That is exactly where we are heading. Aga! I know. Your Majesty. We are not cowards. Oh, yeah. We are not cowards. We cannot sit and watch our enemies snatch our ancestral land. No, it is not possible. No, no, no. The people of Umu Aganiga by this singular move are calling for war. Yes. And they, we are going to give them war. war. You killed her and you must admit. Watch your words. Watch your tongue, young man. Because you are overstepping your bounds. And I want you to reverse your steps. I am not overstepping my boundaries. You are! And I want you to stop it. Otherwise, I will throw you into the barn of bees and you will be stung to death. <laughs> Those who fight evil, they parade with the blood edge of supernatural powers. Does it look like I'm afraid of bees? If you have bees that you've kept to kill people, why didn't you throw her into the ban of bees? Instead of allowing the blood of daughter of Umo Ganigwe to be spilled on the land, you have murdered peace. And I will let you know that I am that Okorondu, that one man that no masquerade has ever humbled. And where are you going? I have delivered my message. There is no need for me being here. You have some guts. You have some guts, I must say. And that is because you are not from this kingdom. Because if you were, your entire family would be wiped out because of your action. <laughs> Watch yourself. My prince, if I may call you that, I am glad you know that I am not from this kingdom. So I would make you pay for killing the only woman that gladdens my heart. I did not kill her. You did! I did not kill her! My prince, there is no need for argument. When the time comes, you would answer for your evil deeds. Thinks I killed her. He's going to tell people that I killed her and I did not. What do I do? What am I going to do? On a second thought, war shouldn't be our only option. I am thinking we should seek other peaceful means of settlement. If it doesn't work, we can now resort to war. Finally. My humble suggestion. I don't understand where you're coming from, Ishii Ofo. It was right here, right now, that we all of us agreed for war. What you are saying now is afterthought, and I'm not going to deal with that. There is no way I will sit as king of Asiama presently and allow the people of Omo Ganigo to take what rightfully belongs to us. You are very right, Your Majesty. Each of why are you avoiding war? Why I am avoiding war is whatever that has fallen into the stream should be traced with feet, not hands. We don't have enough manpower to be precise to face war this moment. Each of uh, them goes with the people of Omo Ganigo, uh, but they have able bodied youths. The same thing with us. We want to have able bodied young men who can lay down their lives for their kingdom, and I am, I am very, very proud of them. Your Majesty, on the second thought, I see great sense in each year for submission. Why don't we send peace ambassadors from here to the king of Umoganigwe kingdom and find out his reason for positioning men on our land? Yes, exactly what you'll be discussing here. You see, 
War. At all times, war must come last, must always be the last option for any right-thinking person or people. We are right-thinking people in this community, and we are privileged to also have a right-thinking king who listens. So I am suggesting, humbly suggesting, that we should send a peace ambassador to Umoganiwe Kingdom so we can avoid this war. Okay. Well, what happens in a situation where we send the so-called peace ambassador? And they will refuse to listen to him. And then it will be on record that he has already declared war on us. Yes, I, I, and we will all come out in battle against him. Yes. Okay. Well, I am not one of those kings who will always overrule his elders and council. Majority here are saying that we should send a peace ambassador. Yes, yes, Your Majesty. We are going to send the peace ambassador to Mogaliwe. Yeah. <coughs> um, Your Majesty, the piece of land under dispute, who does it rightfully belong to? It's your necker. Get wisdom. And stop speaking unintelligently. The rightful owner of the land is not the issue here. Um, what is the issue? The issue is that they killed our people, and they must pay for it. Your Majesty, from what we have gathered so far, our men killed them as well. Ichionyaka, you must mind the utterances you make before an angry king. I sit on this throne to protect the inhabitants of our land. You must not be seen to be challenging me. Oh, you are the king. I, I am not challenging you. Ichi Onyeka, leave my presence. Your Majesty, not... If I repeat myself, you become food for the dogs. Your Majesty, it has not caused into to that. Leave my presence. Indeed, chair. We must all have the mindset that we are at war. Your Majesty, do we have capable men to execute this battle? The youths have assured me they can do it. We have not lost any battle as a kingdom. And I believe we will not lose now. Never. We will subdue Eziyama. We will sack their king. And Eziyama shall become part of Umoganigwe Kingdom. Messenger of peace is here, in the land of peace. May the peace of the gods be upon this house. Greetings, Your Majesty. And who is the one standing before me with Ogisi leaves? I am a messenger from Eziyama Kingdom, and I was sent by His Majesty Eziyama of Eziyama. To spy on us? I have not come to spy. No man from the land of the rising sun with evil intention who will touch the sacred Ogurishi leaf. Who are you? And why are you here? His Royal Majesty, Ezema of Ezema, demands to know why your men have encroached into our land. Guards! Take hold of this man and deal with him. Who is your king? To question why I did what I did. Take him. Who is he? I am Ezen Nakenyi, Ezen Aganigwe of Umoverigwe. My word is law. Igwe. Hmm. I said it. I said it, but no one listened to me. I said it. Keep quiet. Allow us to think. There is nothing to think about, mother. This is above thinking. The war is right here with us. We have to face it squarely. Your Majesty, do we have capable hands that would defend us in battle? Unfortunately, we don't. Ha! Huh. Then my vision will come exactly as I saw it. Every living thing in Eziyama was killed and our land was taken from us. They will sack us from this palace, grab the offer, and make us a part of their kingdom. 
Adesa, can you throw more light on this revelation that you said you had? Because this dimension you are bringing into this now was never mentioned to me. The kingdom will be in disarray. Both old and young were slaughtered like fowls. Stop this, my princess, for it is scary. May the gods forbid. The gods cannot forbid it, mother. Because when I revealed it, no one wanted to do anything about it. Adesa, can you trust me? Can you trust me when I told you I am on top of this? I am telling you again, I am on top of this and I am going to solve this problem. My husband, based on what happened already, I'm interested to know what you are planning right now. Even what can you make the no be? That which a man is going to do is buried deep down in his heart. But I need you to know something. That men who are men will always rise in defense of their kingdom. We are going to defend this kingdom. We are already setting in motion the plan for peace. In a situation where this plan for peace is not seeing the light of day, we will have no other option than take the war to them. But you just said we do not have able-bodied men who can go to war. Why then are you talking about war? We are the people of Eziyama. We have never failed in war before. Ah. And there is no way the failure is going to start under my wash. Ah. I am not a slave. <laughs> I am not a slave. <laughs> I am not a spy. I am not a spy. Even the gods of the rain will bear me witness. I am not a spy. Hold. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, wake up. He's dead. What? It's self-surprise. You just killed a man of the gods who bears the sacred ugly sleeve and you are saying it serves him right? I said it serves him right. So that in his next life, he will never attempt such a message. What do we do now? We'll tell the king he's dead. The king will be angry with us. No, he won't. Because he asked us to beat him up. Did you hear the king give such instruction? What are you saying? Your Majesty, the messenger is dead. Serves him right. Your Majesty, he was holding onto the sacred leave even unto death. That is not on my business. Dump his body into the Zema River. Consider it done, no easy. Now that we know, I'm in business.
any news from the messenger? No news at all. Are you sure all is well? How do you mean? I'm not having a good feeling at all. Ezinaken is a wicked man. He may decide to kill the messenger just to pick a fight with you. He will not do a thing like that. There is no king in any part of Eagle Land who is what his throne that will go killing a messenger of peace who was instructed from beginning to appear before him with the sacred Ogilis he leaves. It's not possible. Onyeze, trust me, he can. That man is wicked and has no respect for the rules of the ancestors. If it turns out like you fear that Ezen Nakeji has actually killed an ambassador of peace who bore Apopo Gilesi, it will simply mean that he has opened the very gate of evil and he is going to be annihilated. I saw him enter this path. You are certain? I'm very sure. Then he's not far. Who sent you after me? Please. Please. Oh. Oh. I don't want to repeat myself again. Who sent you after me? No. No prince. <coughs> oh. The what? The prince? Why? He... He wouldn't say. He wouldn't say and you foolishly obeyed him! We are sorry. Sorry. He sent you after a man who has done absolutely nothing to you. <sighs> I am sorry. Please. I'm sorry. Oh. Is it? What is it? Something tells me that the king of Umo Ganigwe has killed that messenger. Why will a man who calls himself a king kill a messenger of peace? From what you know of the man, does he cut across to you as one who is a respecter of tradition? He's one of those men in positions of authority that one wonders always how they got to the said position. If it turns out that he killed a man who was bearing the leaves of Ogilisi, then he has crippled himself. The man who will send his army out to take what doesn't belong to him is definitely not a man of the gods. Even at that, I don't want to conclude that he has killed the messenger of peace. But if that be the case, that means he has taking the war beyond himself. Your Highness, going to war is not as easy as you think. The question is, how prepared are our warriors? Oyendoji, they may not have been prepared all this while, but unexpected emergency is the best way to know who is prepared. Then I'm still of the opinion that we wait for the return of the messenger before going to war. Oyendozi, I have this feeling that that brutal king may have killed him. As in Makenyi is not a lunatic to have killed an ambassador of peace. I'm deeply convinced that he cannot do a thing like that. 
when a man is power drunk, he can go to any extent to get what he wants. And that is what is playing out here now. Well, I'm a man of peace. And uh, I want us to explore every peaceful window of conflict resolution before embarking on a war. I know why I say this. I equally know why I'm saying what I am saying. We must have to take precautionary measures against a brutal king before he silences us. We're talking about a man who has no conscience here. My daughter has continued to have this revelation that she has continued to hammer on about how they are planning to invade our land. Have I not told you that several times? In that case, I volunteer to go to Muaganigwe Kingdom to talk to their king. And uh, I am convinced that he will listen to me. Oyendozi, I'm not going to allow you to embark on that mission. I know the man we are talking about. He may attack you. Really? Maidens of our land. Who is after you? Her Majesty, we saw dead body at the riverside. Did you say dead body? Yes, Your Majesty. Who is that body? We don't know, Your Majesty. Both of you should go to the river and identify this dead body. Thank you. Thank you, yes, my sir, daughter, yes. for this information. What is going on? Maiden of Isama Kingdom, right? Yes. Very good. Very good. Please don't kill me, please. Please, please don't kill me. I'm innocent, please. Ah! Your king has committed a grave sin. Please. No maiden is ever innocent. I have, I have no business with the king, please. Yes. Ah! Please. Ah! Ah! Please, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me, I beg you. Please don't kill me. Please, death, please don't kill me. Send a very strong yes. message. The people of Israel, that please. we are not joking. That oh was a very poor performance. I wouldn't kill you, but my ah. hands will. Ah. Your plan is to kill me. How did you get into my kingdom? I am that Okolondo that no masquerade has ever humbled. I told you that before, yet you sent your rat after me. Let me ask you this question. 
What makes you think that you can kill me? What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. You sent Uche and Nduka after me. You are digging your own grave. Since you claim ignorance of what I am talking about, I would explain it to you. First, you killed Ogechi and denied it. And you sent your boys after me. Why are you this heartless? Or is it that you derive pleasure in killing people? Look, if you don't get out of here, I will kill you. Cut you into pieces and no one will ever find your corpse. I am equal to the tax. Let's do it. <laughs> You are one brave young man. <laughs> My friends, it's obvious that you don't know the gravity of the offense that you have committed. But I assure you with time, I would explain it to you bit by bit. Why is he getting away with many things? Why? Able and capable youths of our land. Your mission in this battle is simple. Get me the head of the king of Aziyama. I want his offer. Because Rumo Ganigwe will annex the Aziyama kingdom. Anything short of this it's not acceptable. We know how important this is to you. And we promise not to disappoint you. I must warn. They have good warriors from the kingdom of Eziyama. Of course, you remember what happened when we had the last face-off. Do not take anything for granted. We are well of that, my king. And we promise to approach this war with sail. That is the strategy. I want you to kill every creature that breathes and cut down everything that moves. Yes, Your Majesty. We have all we need. On no account must you allow yourselves to be captured and tell others if by any means you are captured, kill yourself. We understand this war and we promise not to fail. I wish you success. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. We are now in Asiama Kingdom. Our mission is to kill and destroy the entire kingdom. We will not show the mercy. You, you and you, go on the farmland and the sea and stream. Kill every living soul. Kill all of them. Woof. Hot to hot. Kill everyone you see. Kill all of them. Move. You, you follow me. King's palace. Let's go. The way this whole thing is going, this year we pass and no many will be married. Why will you say that? If you don't want to get married, say it particular to yourself. Don't generalize it. Okay, if you feel what I said is meaningless, then I want you to show me any maiden planning her marriage now. What you are saying is not meaningless. But then, 
We are not the men who decide practically on everything. Well, mine is simple. If I wait till the end of this year and nothing happens, I will leave this town. Leave this town to where? Anywhere. One can find a decent man who will propose marriage to her. Wait a minute. Why do you sound as if marriage is the most important achievement any woman can make? Father, I beg of you, Father. I wish to go on the battlefield. No. Why, Father? Why, Father? I feel incomplete as a prince of this kingdom, Father. Our people are at war. The youth are on the battlefield. And yet you ask me to stay here and do nothing? Father, please. I will fight. Our youth are capable and are at your service. Father, this is a critical moment. We need to gather all we can to crush our enemies. Father, please. Our youths are capable and have assured me of victory, so there's no need for you to go there. Father, this can only be achieved by adding more manpower to the already existing one. Father, please! I won't allow you, bro. 